Hello there and welcome to the mobile academy and if you want to become a job ready flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the flutter and then the react native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer, we also have the course related to the full stack developer, related to the uh, Node.js, Express, MongoDB, as well as the Flutter over here. And if you would like to join the uh, Flutter Bootcamp, there is also a Bootcamp course over here. So make sure to go and check out the course over here. There are free and then they paid codes. And if you want to be a job ready Flutter developer, this is the course that you would want to take. So see you guys on the next lesson. Till then, have a great day. Yeah, hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here. So in this particular lesson, we will go and see how we can install and uh, set up the uh, go router package, which is the uh, navigation package that we are learning this, but in this particular section over here. And in this uh, previous section, we learned about the navigator 1.0. That was the um, the uh, navigator package from the Flutter itself. But we are going to use a third package package over here for the navigation that will be of the go router. And it is uh, quite popular and it's maintained by the Flutter that they uh, dev team itself so which is maintained by the flutter team itself so uh that's quite cool so let's go and get started over here first we'll go to the pub.dev and this particular pub.dev you can find all kind of the packages uh you can find the um your your requirement over here like you, you want to find uh, uh different kind of the packages that are paid and free so all of those packages you can find it over here and this is kind of the repo for the uh, Flutter packages. And if you don't know what is the pop that then it is the uh, place where all of the packages are maintained. So we'll just go and uh, search for the Go Router over here. And uh, we'll make use of this particular Go Router. You can see it has the 100% uh, popularity as well as it's maintained by the Flutter the dev team itself. So um, it's uh, yes, from the official Flutter team. So they are maintaining this particular package. So that's cool. So let's go to the Go Router from here. And uh, what we need to do, first of all, is we, we need to go to the installation. And in the installation, you can either uh, use this one, Flutter pub add Go Router. Or you can copy this particular dependency. So I'll just copy the uh, Go Router dependency from here. We'll go to the pub spec that the YAML file and we need to add it to our. Okay, so we need to add it in not in the dev dependency. Sorry for that. We need to add it to our. Uh, let's just go and add to our dependency. So what is this particular dev dependency and this particular dependencies over here? Some people get confused over here as a beginner Flutter dev developer. You may be confused over here why we have the dev dependency as well as we have the dependency over here. So uh, the package that we are require for our production app. So once you build a release version of your application and if you require that packages on the release version, then uh, we have to add it to the dependencies over here because that is the core packages that will be used by your application uh, once it is running in the uh, user devices but there are certain packages that you only require once you are in your development environment right like the build runner and some kind of the uh, code generation tool that tools are just required once you are once you are building the app, app or in the uh, development environment it doesn't have to be uh, once you release that particular application so in that case we will add those dependency in the uh, dev dependencies since the go router is the main package over here that will be used for our navigation so we need to add it to the dependencies section over here so make sure to remember the differences between the dev, uh, dev dependencies and any dependencies in the pub spec that the yaml file so you can uh, get that from the pub spec that the yaml file and once you have this added this what you need to do is you need to run the flutter command so fl u t t flutter pub get command from here and this will go and grab all of the uh, update or download the dependencies for us you can also use this particular download button from here or get the packages so you can also if you have this particular button you can make use of it or else you can always run the uh, flutter pub get command over here 
and once this is done uh, we are good to go over here and next thing is that we need to configure our uh, material app over here so if you go to the okay so we go to the material app and we need to configure this particular material app to make use the go router so previously we are using the ungenerated route which is from the navigator 1.0 but since yeah, we are going to use the go router over here, we need to configure this one as well. So uh, uh, let's do that on the uh, next lesson. Till then, have a great day. Let us continue with our lesson over here. And next step, let us go and configure our go router over here. For that, let's go to the route folder and I'll create the new file that will be of the app underscore our route over here and then the uh, dart file let's go and create the let's just go and return the uh, go router from here go router router and uh, this will be of let's go and say, okay i need to import that particular go router go router router and i guess we don't have that particular type so let's just go and we need to import this particular package from here let's import this one and this will be a go router that that will be of the app root router or let's just call this one as an app root route or the app router and uh, that is going to uh, return us from for us the uh, go root go router from here and uh, here we are going to uh, it takes the go router and it uh, take some of the uh, the arguments or the parameters from here and the arguments that we have to currently set is the router is the required argument that we need to pass in so here it takes the list of the base route so let's just copy this is the list of the type of the base route right and this is a list and here we are going to pass in the base route over here and uh, it's not required but it's good to have this uh the type over here so you know that it's going to return a list of the route base over here and from here we have to return the uh, go route over here and the first uh the argument it's going to take is the required is the path it also has the name and you have a lot of the other configuration like the builder page builder uh parent navigator key redirect on exits and all of the information and in the go router itself you also have a lot of the uh the arguments that you can pass in over here uh, we will look into some of these on our coming up lectures but for now uh, we have to uh, we have the go router and in this go router there is a routes parameter and this particular routes parameter is the required that we need to pass in we need to pass in the list of the go routes from here and uh, this is the path so path we are going to go to the uh, log uh, login page right so class log and login so path should always start with the uh, the uh, forward slash and then the login and you also have the um, name over here and the name over here and let's just go and remove this particular um, builder for now let's just focus on the name and a name you can also maintain in the one specific file so let's say uh, uh go root router or the let's say app route name or the app root route name i guess that will be much more better name and here we are going to configure the const of the string and that will be of the uh, log i and login or let's just say log i and login root login route over here and let's just also add all of the like the home router and then the product route okay it should not be i guess login router it should be of the route or or the login route r-o-u-t-e route name so we'll just add the route name over here so it will be much more easier for us so let's just say this is at the home route name and this will be of the product route name and this was sub route name and this is the setting route name and in the route name we don't have to provide this particular uh, forward slash so let's just go and remove it from here and in the route name we are not going to pass in that particular forward slash over here so once we have that let's go over here and we can import that one as the log login 
route name that we have we'll import it over here and if you take a look of uh, the we have the path and then the name and uh, next we will configure our uh, page uh, let's make use of the builder for now which returns the widget over here and later we'll see rest of the configuration for now let's just go and make use of the builder over here so we have the uh, builder over here right so be builder and it provides us the uh, context and then the uh, go route go router state and then the context over here and uh, here we are going to return our log and login screen from here and once we have this particular configuration this is our first configuration for the uh, the go router and you only have one route for now which is the uh, login over here and let's go to our uh, main app over here and here this particular main uh, material app what we need to do is we need to configure this one to uh, accept or make use of the go router over here and for that what we'll do is we have to add the dot annotation and then we have to set it as a router over here all right uh, material app that the router over here and once we have this particular configuration now we can pass this one on generated route so we have to remove this one and there is an option that we need to pass in that will be of the um, so here we need to pass in the uh, router uh, config and that will be of the we need to import this uh, app router over here or you can also call it as a go router itself so now once we have this we have configured all of this and now if i go and reload my application i should be able to uh, navigate to that the home screen. so here you can see that uh, no route for location slash so if we go and i guess we have some error in our configuration so this is the part of the login and uh, so what we need to do is the the root login the, the root route for us should be of this slash right and the path should be of this one so this will be of our root over here right and if i go and I reload this one i should go to the login page for now and if you want to pass this one as the log login over here there is an option in this particular go router that we can uh, make use which will be of the initial location and the initial location will be of this particular route so let's just copy this one from here and the initial location will make use of this one let's just go and reload now you should see that the initial location will be also of this one over here so that's uh, the thing that we have set up over here and the next thing is that we need to navigate from one screen to the another and i guess let's do that on the uh, next lecture and in this lesson we see how we can set up our go router over here and how we can make use that in our material app that the router and we pass in the router config over here as our go router over here so let's meet up in the next one till then have a great day and uh, let's continue with our lesson over here so the next step is what we need to do is we once we click on this one we want to navigate to the our uh, home screen over here so for that in our app route over here uh, we haven't set up that particular route so let's go and set that one over here i'll just copy the whole content from here and i'll just go and paste it below over here and this will be of the i guess it will be of the home and if you go to our app route name this is the home route name so let's just go back to our app route over here this will be of the home route name over here and uh, now from here uh, we are going to return the uh, home screen right so i guess that is what we need to return from here the home screen and let's go and take a look over here so we have that okay and if we go to the screens currently once we have that so let's go to the main screen and i guess this is the screen that we need to navigate this is the chat app and it has the tab over here so i guess this is the one that we want to navigate for now so uh let's go over to our uh, app route over here and from here uh, let's change this one to the uh, main screen over here and let's try to go and reload this particular application and uh, let's go to our login screen from here 
and what we need to do is we need to navigate from here okay let's just uh do a little bit of formatting over here and what i will do is i'll try to go and set the main axis alignment to the center so we can uh, set the uh, main axis alignment to be of the main axis alignment of the uh, center itself and uh, another one will be of the um, this one is already centered the cross axis alignment is already centered itself so what we need to do is we need to move this one over here and uh, what for that what we have to do currently is uh, let's just go and wrap this one with the center so everything will be centered for now just wrap this one and you can see that everything is on the center of the screen and uh, that should be fine and next step is uh, once we click on this one uh, we can remove this one for now because uh, we have already covered the navigator 1.0 so for that we don't require let's just clear this one out from here and I will use of the go router from here and then uh, I will just make use of the go router right so go ROUT um, go router from here go router dot and I can make use of, of context dot and I can make use of the, the 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 function or the method that we previously used over here, like the go um like go pop, right? Go name, push, push name. And these are the uh the the method or the function that we have previously used over here. So what we will try to do over here is we'll try to push this particular to our location. So this takes the uh, location over here, right? String location. And then location will be of our, if you go back to our app route, not the app route name. So app route over here, this is the, the location or the path that we need to go. So let's just go and pass it over here and let's just close it from here. And let's just go to uh, rerun the application from here. And here you can see that we have the two tab, one is of the chat screen and another one is of the group screen. So chat screen and then the group screen over here. And the next thing what we can do over here, you can see that go router dot of context is quite long over here. And you can also use the set form over here. That is of making use of this untxt context dot. And I can make use of the go from here. So I can, uh, currently we have the push. So let's just go and say the context dot push from here and we can just make use of this one from here and just paste it over here and we can just go and comment out this one and in order to use this context that push make sure you have imported the uh, this particular package over here which is of the go router from you so i can just remove all of this content that is not used so we need to import this particular go router package over here and then we can make use of the context that push instead of the go router dot of context that is a quite long and mouthful as well so once we have uh, the context that push over here what we will do is we'll just try to go and uh, restart our application and let's try to go to the uh, login you can see that it is working perfectly fine so um you, we basically we will use this context that uh, push this is more most more more uh, developer friendly because you don't have to write this long context over here as well so this is quite cool right so you can make use of the context that push and for that make sure you import this one and currently you can see that we have this particular back button over here but once we once i click on this one i can go back to the login route over here but what i want to do over here is once i click this login button i don't want to have this particular back button over here and i don't want to go back to this particular login route since once we log in we don't want to come back to that particular login page again so um let's go and see how we can do that on the uh, next lecture till then have a great day